Phuket is located in the southwestern part of the Kingdom of Thailand. The island isn't large. It stretches out across 50 kilometers, and its breadth at its widest point from west to east is about 21 kilometers. Phuket and another 39 small islands are actually a province of the same name of Thailand. The island has a large international airport that receives passengers from all over the world. Phuket is also linked to the mainland by two motorway bridges. The flight from Bangkok to the island of Phuket lasts just over an hour. There's a lot to see here and I've got just three days. Let's get to know the place. The Big Buddha is the main religious site on the island of Phuket and the largest statue in the whole of the Kingdom of Thailand. It stands 45 meters tall. There's a temple within. The King of Thailand is the patron of all the religious practices in the kingdom. The Chinese Port Zhu Temple was built over 200 years ago and is one of the oldest on the island. It has a second name, Kvan Im Teng. People come here to pray for good health for themselves and for their nearest and dearest. There's also a mosque on the island that's attended by the descendants of Malaysian seafarers who practiced Islam. The Kingdom of Thailand, and until 1939 the Kingdom of Siam, throughout its history has preserved its independence and has never been a colony. This has allowed the Thais to preserve their exotic uniqueness. And of course, travellers are sure to visit this place of worship on the island, Chalong. It's the biggest, most significant temple on Phuket, and its history dates back centuries. Every year, it's visited by about 100,000 people. Its name translates as festival. The large temple complex comprises about 10 constructions, many statues of Buddhas and of saints. Phuket is renowned not only for its numerous temple complexes and beaches. Here, you can really sense the good-natured hospitality of the native islanders. As one of the most popular tourist centers in Thailand, Phuket possesses a developed hotel infrastructure. There are several hundred hotels on the island of various price categories. Among the emerald pools and lush tropical gardens, you'll find cozy buildings built in the traditional Thai style. This is Dusit Thani, one of the five comfortable hotels that go together to make the Laguna Phuket Resort Complex. The hotel is renowned for its wonderful service, the ideal opportunities it provides for rest and relaxation, and for its convenient location. International quality standards blend here with warm hospitality. The traditional Thai instrument, the kim, allows you to not only play Thai music, you can also compose your own. I can't play any Thai music and you've heard mine. I think I'll go and learn something a little easier. As well as Thai exotica, the hotel offers some more familiar Western entertainments. Golf, for example. Up, 
On the territory of the hotel, there's a golf course, and an instructor can teach you the subtleties of the game. But of course, you need a certain amount of skill and experience here too. I could be forgiven because Thailand is a tropical country, so sometimes your hands get a little sweaty, and things like this happen. I'll just go and get my club. The Dusit Tani Hotel is ideal for the whole family. Many guests coming to Phuket for the first time choose this hotel for some quality rest and recreation and find themselves repeatedly coming back. The hotel's cuisine is extremely varied and includes European dishes as well as native Thai dishes. I'd like to introduce you to the head chef of Thai cuisine at the Dusit Tani Hotel, Pacham. Today, they've suggested that I cook this prehistoric animal that's called a king crab. This species was on Earth even before the dinosaurs. Mr. Pacham, uh, what's cooking this animal? Yeah, for this, we have two. See, we have the, the charcoal gears. We clear first. We have the broil first, or you can use another steam. Where is meat? Yeah, we can. It, after we cook it, we, we open here, this area, and take the skin out, and we take the... the, yeah, after, the, the, the we, uh, after we fried them on the grill, we open up the shell, but there's no meat there. There's something just like caviar. Yeah, like a caviar. This one, we take time by maybe 20 minutes for... Mr. Pacham says that about 20 minutes and the king crab's caviar will be ready. See what's the ingredient for the salad? This is a shallot onion. Sugar. Sugar. Chili. Lime juice. Lime juice, it's a lemon sauce. Mango. Green mango. Green mango. We green mango. Only green. Only green for salad. Then fish sauce. This one. Ah, nampla. Nampla, green onion and coriander for garlic. Coriander. Yes. This one. This is already for. Ah, okay. Это уже готовый нарезанный нашинкованный. This has already been chopped up. It's mango. Salai. You want to do it yourself? Yes, I try. Я также попробую, как меня учили. I'll give it a try too, the way I've been taught to do it, carefully, down your fingers. The Thais are real masters. They know how to combine uncombinable tastes, and that's the real charm of Thai cuisine. Middle, middle spicy. Thai kitchen without spicy, no Thai kitchen. Normally, if you want a real Thai food, should be a little bit spicy, yes. but not too spicy. Yes, yes. Okay, then for the chili, you just cut it. Chop, I think, okay. Different color. Yeah. This is a uh, different uh, smell and tasty. Yeah, the green, spicy. The red, really spicy. Junior and senior. Okay, this one is ready. This side, no, no clove yet. I think this side have. Uh -huh. We open up the shell on the lower side. Here the shell isn't thick. And there's the caviar. There it is. The island cuisine here, for the most part, features all manner of seafood ingredients. They're prepared on a grill, fried, boiled or baked. And of course, there's a lot of pepper. The combination of sweet, bitter, sour and salty in Thai dishes creates a very unusual taste that's quite unique. We add the green mango. And now, the green mango is added in. The mango looks like this. It should be hard. First, we add in some sugar. Half a spoonful of sugar. That's why we've got different spoons. Two teaspoonfuls of lime juice. 
Then we add the nampla sauce, that's a fish sauce, three spoonfuls, four spoonfuls. We mix it all together. What, Mr. Pacham? Mr. Pacham is giving me the chance to put my energy into this extremely unusual dish. Well, I'll give it a try, just for you. I really don't know what to compare it with. It's kind of like Granny's beans with pepper. Thailand never stops amazing you. And now I must thank the head chef of the Dusit Thani restaurant, Mr. Pacham. Wish him all the best. A big thank you for this new gastronomic experience. Our introduction to the island of Phuket envelops travellers in a colourful wave of new experiences, stunning colours and tastes. And when the sun falls below the horizon and there's a light breeze blowing from the ocean, it's wonderful to spend some time on an empty beach in an unhurried conversation with a charming companion. Welcome. The island of Phuket, located in the Indian Ocean, is one of the most popular tourist centers in Thailand. The Adaman Sea washes against its shores, attracting tourists from all over the world with its expansive sandy beaches and exotic Southeast Asian and Thai joys. I've stopped at the Dusit Tani Hotel, which offers guests magnificent service and some wonderful rest and relaxation on the shore of the Hoa Sea. This hotel is popular with those who come to Phuket with their families. This girl, who's called Mina, is now living in a five-star hotel. The conditions are wonderful here. There, she loves me. She's asking me for a banana. There, dear, have a banana. Eat a banana, my beauty. For you, anything. Anything you want. Now that's the life. It's kissing me. Let me give you a kiss too. Mina walks freely about the territory of the hotel, bringing joy to guests of all ages. The hotel has 226 comfortable rooms of various categories. The rooms have stylish interiors and warm tones, and they're finished in natural woods and materials with convenient furniture. The rooms feature skillful carvings and ceramic items made by Thai craftsmen, and cosy balconies with magnificent views of the sea. After striking packed days spent on the island of Phuket, it's great to find yourself in an atmosphere of simple finery. The hotel has a wonderful location among tropical gardens, and through the windows you can see the waters of the Andaman Sea. It's a tropical paradise, and the incredible combination of magnificent service and exotic nature make a vacation at the Dusit Tani Hotel truly unforgettable. Guests are offered a variety of activities on the hotel's territory. Horse riding, Thai cooking lessons, show programs and many more fascinating pastimes. For example,